step-by-step -step guide to laser engraving and cutting paper wedding invites. Looking to add a special touch to your event invitations? Watch this video for a detailed guide on using an epilogue laser machine to cut and engrave cardstock paper for unique, elegant invites. Using an epilogue fusion edge laser will create stunning multi-layered invitations from cardstock. We'll start by creating settings for engraving the cardstock. By using a white core cardstock, we're able to engrave through the color layer down to the white level. But you can use almost any cardstock for the top two layers since they won't be engraved. Choosing a darker color for the bottom layer for the card will give you the best contrast for your engraved text. Start in the Epilogue Job Manager and navigate to the Jobs tab, then click the Generate button. This will create an array of material settings so you can find the perfect setting for your material. We'll set the box size to 0.15 inches, spacing to 0.05 inches, and set the columns to five and rows to two. This will allow us to show five different power settings and two different speed settings. In the x-axis, we'll set the power between 10 and 50%, and in the y-axis, we'll set the speed between 90 and 100%. Click Save. Now open our new job. Using a scrap piece of cardstock, move the generated file on the cardstock and press the print icon. After the file is engraved, we can find our favorite setting for getting a white mark on the cardstock. I prefer the square at 100% speed and 30% power. Now with our settings locked in, we'll open our design file. This will be set up on three colors of cardstock. Let's start with the back layer that will be engraved and cut out. Select the square and text on the right side of the page and print it using selection only to the laser dashboard. We'll place the graphic on the right top corner of the page. We could set this up to create up to four invites at one time. Now select the settings for the engraving using the settings we liked best from the generator file test. On a 30 watt system, we'll use 100% speed, 30% power, and 500 DPI. We'll set our cutting layer to 50% speed and 60% power and 20% frequency. Print the file to the laser. Next, we'll move on to the middle layer. This layer will have just a few cuts where we want the back layer color to show all the way through the invite. Select this layer and print it with selection only to the laser dashboard. We'll merge the two processes together into a single cutting process and import our settings for cardstock cutting. Remember to save your settings when you've dialed them in so they are quick to find next time you work with that material. Now, print the file to the laser. Finally, we'll cut out the top layer that has the majority of the cut design. Select that layer and print it to the dashboard with selection only. Merge our two processes together and select our cardstock cutting settings. Now print the file to the laser.
Now that we have our three layers, we'll use a jig to attach the layers perfectly to one another. Here we have a scrap piece of acrylic we've cut a hole in the same size as our invitation. Place the bottom layer in the jig. Shake the glue can well, then spray the reverse side of our middle layer. Place it on top of the bottom layer. Repeat this with the top layer, spraying the reverse side of the paper and placing it in the jig. Press gently and our invitation is perfectly aligned. You can even engrave the back of the invitation with all of the wedding details.